the state's growing craft beer industry. It's facing a new tax that could make the price of their product well, a little harder to swallow. News 12 Long Island's Andrew Anger has a story you'll see holding on as well. New York State and Long Island produces some world-class craft beers. But for years, small Empire State breweries have been exempt from some New York State taxes and fees that breweries elsewhere had to pay. Now, that's changing. We're kind of a little bit in shock. Rick Sabanka founded Great South Bay Brewery in Bayshore almost two years ago. Recently, he learned he'll have to pay thousands of dollars more a year in excise taxes and fees to the state, hurting his bottom line. It could be anywhere from thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars extra, which is basically, you know, one of the, you know, a salary. The ruling comes from the state supreme court after Shelton Brothers, a New England beer distributor, sued. It said the tax exemption gave New York beers an unfair competitive advantage. The new taxes seem small, 14 cents per gallon of state tax, 12 cents per gallon of New York City tax, in addition to $150 per year label fee. But craft beer blogger Alan Wax says that number could add up if breweries make lots of different varieties in small batches. It might stifle some of the creativity. They'd have to brew these beers in larger numbers in order to uh, amortize the cost of that labeling fee. So with the increase in all of these taxes and fees, could the price of New York beers go up? Well, some brewers think it's a distinct possibility. The customer being the end person will probably be hit the most. Sabatka hopes he won't have to raise prices, but he would really like lawmakers to sit down over a pint and figure out a way to reduce the fees for all breweries. In Bayshore, Andrew Anger, News 12, Longen. Well, Shelton Brothers tells me.